Bonjour. In this video, we are going to see how to translate the English expression to be on time. To be on time in French is not a translation word for word. So, in French, it is être à l'heure. We don't say on time, we say à l'heure, être à l'heure. So, now you understand that if you want to say I'm on time, in French, we are going to say je suis à l'heure or je suis à l'heure when we speak. Je suis à l'heure. You are on time to work. Let's see now how to translate prepositions after uh, the expression. So, to work, the infinitive form of the verb is pour travailler in French. T'es à l'heure pour travailler. He's on time at work. Let's see now the, the preposition at. Well, it depends if we have a masculine or feminine word after. Il est à l'heure au travail, because tra travail is masculine. But now if we have a feminine word, like school, école, in French, she's on time at school, we will say, elle est à l'heure, à l'école. So the translation of at depends on the gender of the word. Let's see this expression now, être à temps, it's, or arriver à temps, it's uh, too good to be true, actually, it seems the, trans the perfect translation of to be on time, but actually no, in French, The meaning is to be in time before it is too late. An example, I arrived in time to take the bus, so before it was too late. In French, je suis arrivé à temps pour prendre le bus. Again, we have our preposition pour to translate to take. Je suis arrivé à temps pour prendre le bus. I come just in time, so before it is too late. Again, j'arrive juste à temps. J'arrive juste à temps. Let's see now that the expression être à l'heure means to be on time, but also means to keep time about a watch. For example, if you say my watch keeps time, you can say it in French ma montre est à l'heure. Ma montre est à l'heure with the expression être à l'heure. Okay? So, now, vous êtes à l'heure. Vous êtes en retard, vous êtes en avance, allez, c'est fini, au revoir et bon français